Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at, well, we're going to be taking a look basically at the full power battle against Goku. This is going to be essentially for the Z Awakening power for Android 13 and Final Form Cooler, both of which you can obtain from the Fierce fight but essentially this full power battle is as always follows the same principles as every other full power battle there are four categories that you need to build teams around for being lineage of evil android extreme and sagas from the movies and event exclusive these will be uh, relatively straightforward and you need to build these teams and then build some support units around them and then you want to take on the stage there are also units that have additional battle bonus boosts and these units will do more increased damage basically as you go along. So it's a pretty straightforward kind of concept. I think most players should really understand how it works and should be relatively comfortable with the situation if you've done them before. If you need any tips on the battle or full power battle itself, I will be covering that when we get to the combat portion but the main reason to do this is for the Z Awakening power for the two units uh, alongside some pretty cool slot removers and such that you can get. The list of battle bonus characters is included under the details section however you can just search via battle bonus and select that way. For normal difficulty and hard difficulty I traditionally try to use the free to play units uh, or as many free to play or easy access units as possible and then for the higher difficulties uh, or screen difficulty I tend to just use a build that works as generally speaking it can get a little bit difficult uh, especially if you don't actually have the boost units so yeah uh, beyond that the way we're going to be building at least for normal difficulty or setting up as shown here is predominantly with the free to play units. Now I highly suggest you also build using units that are blue type as blue type will have advantage here as the Goku you'll be facing is going to be a red type Goku. The other suggestion I can give you is that your support battle members need to be fully leveled and fully soul boosted as traditionally this is also going to be something that helps you out quite a bit. So I would suggest if you do not know by now but I would suggest that basically you try to soul boost and level those characters as they're going to help you quite substantially as well as also give yourself comrades uh, as those are also going to help you comrades give you a nice little boost as well so I highly suggest you basically do this as it's going to help you again quite substantially beyond that though there's not really too much else uh, to kind of discuss, I guess. Um, everything is relatively straightforward, so you shouldn't really have any major issues. And yeah, uh, I think overall, at the end of the day, it's a pretty straightforward kind of event, so shouldn't really have any problems. Obviously, I think um, in terms of the actual fighting itself, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, how it works is essentially the boss it's a little bit of like a reverse of hyperdimensional co-op so instead of a situation where usually you break the boss's shield and then use all your high damaging abilities here instead you wait for the boss to generate a shield and then you pop all your high damaging abilities to break his shield because if you don't break the shield you then tend to take more damage you want to save your all out attacks and all out strikes all out key blasts and your rising rush all for the moment when the shield appears and that will pretty much cover everything for you now of course i do take a look at the normal event the hard and the scream in a bit more detail in their own separate videos so that players have a reference for them but beyond that uh, there's not really anything else too much that i would say you need to be aware of this covers pretty much everything you need to know so with that being said if you do need any more help you can let me know in the comments or you can search for the appropriate difficulty of the event so you can take it on there are no alternative or additional missions 
for the full power battle and the only real benefit here is slot removers and the awakening power for the two free to play units. But that's basically it, so I'll see you guys next time, till then, bye.